Section 2. You will hear an introductory talk to a group of temporary workers at an international travel exhibition. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 13. Good morning and welcome everybody. I'm Jenny Stewart and I'm the staff manager here at the Exhibition Centre. We're expecting this year's International Travel Exhibition to attract over 10,000 visitors a day, ladies and gentlemen, and you are among the 200 extra staff recruited to help look after them. Now, to help things run smoothly, we have divided you into four teams. The blue team, the green team, the red team and the yellow team. So first, I'll explain how the teams are divided up and then we'll be giving you colour-coded t-shirts so we can identify you more easily. First of all, those who will be looking after the phones and handling all calls regarding the exhibition, you will be on the red team. Now, We've also put the entrance staff on the red team, and you'll be stamping the entrance tickets and giving out publicity leaflets, OK? Those of you involved in distributing entrance tickets will be on the yellow team, and we've also put those of you who'll be staffing the information booths around the conference centre on the yellow team, so you'll be getting a yellow T-shirt. Now, most of the hospitality staff have been put in the blue team, so the chefs among you and the kitchen hands will all need a blue T-shirt. But because of the sheer numbers, all waiting staff will be on the yellow team, and this includes the bar staff among you. Those who will be monitoring and directing the traffic in the car parks are on the green team, so you'll need to get a green T-shirt. This year... We've also employed a considerable number of attendants to direct the human traffic around the conference centre. Now, you'll be working in the exhibition hall at all times, giving directions and generally helping people whenever you can. And you will be in the red team, so please collect a red T-shirt. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 14 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. Right, now that everyone knows what team they're in, we'll get on with the orientation and training programme. And first, I'll run through the rest of today's programme, which you should have in front of you, so that you can get a general idea of what else is in store today. This introduction finishes at 9.30 and then you'll be hearing from Anne Smith. Anne works in the Accounts Department on Level 2, and she looks after all temporary staff, and so she is the person to see if you have any problems regarding pay. Anne will be explaining when and how you get this. She will also be handing out your tax forms. And I will just stress that all tax forms must be completed and returned to Anne before your pay can be processed. Following Anne's talk, you'll hear from Peter Chen, our conference manager, and he will be going over a plan of the conference centre with you, which will help you to orient yourselves. He will also go through the security arrangements with you and show you the fire exits. Then, at 10.30... There will be a coffee break in the staff canteen, which is located down on the ground floor. Now, after the break, we'll be moving to a different location for a video presentation. So, instead of coming back here, 
we'd like you all to go to lecture room 311. You'll find it on this same level, just down the hall, and there you will be shown a video about important safety issues in the workplace called Safety at Work. We'll finish off the morning with lunch, which should give everyone a chance to meet and get to know each other, and we'll be serving you a buffet lunch in the main hall, which is on the first floor from 12 o'clock. After lunch, you'll be divided up into your teams to meet your team leaders, and we're hoping to be all finished by three, so I won't delay you any longer, and I'll hand over... That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.